I love when I have a breakthrough, don't you? What I don't like is the breakdown that comes with the breakthrough. Let's look at why change is hard. First of all, we resist all change because we're human. Human beings are programmed for stability. It's a survival tool that enabled our ancient ancestors to survive. Today, it causes people to resist learning new tools, deny different points of view, and hang on to old habits and old beliefs, especially when stress levels are high. Change creates discomfort for you. If something you do causes pain, what do you do? We stop, of course. New habits and new conversations create pain. Failure is a side effect of experimenting with new behavior, which then creates pain. Feedback from other people creates pain. It's no wonder that you soon forget our New Year's resolutions and return to what we used to do before. Being smart and creative is a blessing and it can also be an obstacle. If you're in a leadership role, you probably are smarter than the average bear, which is what got you promoted in the first place or what had you jump into entrepreneurial bliss. Your personal gifts have helped you achieve much and those gifts has helped you cover up for your deficiencies or cram to make last minute deadlines. Like you used to cram for exams in school, or maybe you still do. The downside of the capacity is that you can pretend that you're changing and even fool yourself in the short term yet avoid difficult work for long-term change. We wanna look at your invisible to yourself. A goldfish is totally unaware when they're surrounded by water, unless it's suddenly confronted by the lack of water. Then it realizes it's uncomfortable. We're the same way as human beings. We live much of our life unconsciously, not paying attention to what we're doing. Think about it. When was the last time you thought about how you walk? Are you aware of the little things you do with your hands when you talk? Or have you ever driven somewhere without remembering where you got there or how you got home? Or have you reacted in a particular way in a conversation that you have no recollection? As long as we're invisible to ourselves, change is not gonna be on our radar. Admit it, what you really want is to continually increase your capacity so that you can grow and take on more. You wanna feel confident in all domains of your life. You've earned the respect of your coworkers and you're seen as a valuable resource. You wanna be sought out by others for advice, coaching, and advancement. We wanna develop your risk tolerance. Try more, fail more, learn from experiences, hold an inspiring personal vision that drives your life. We wanna know how to recover quickly from stressful situations and bounce back from adversity. We wanna to be told that you're an excellent communicator and have a powerful personal presence. Even if you're not sure what that is yet, I want you to take excellent care of your health, your fitness, and spend sufficient time on yourself and your family. And we still wanna have a great career. We wanna feel happy, fulfilled. Does all this sound like a fantasy world? Perhaps, above is a wee bit exaggerated. You can transform yourself when you think big and take tiny steps. First, you need a clear and powerful vision. Where do you wanna go? Think big here, as coaching creates a space of where you wanna be challenged. Challenge all your boundaries and your beliefs that have been holding you back from your greatness. Just as you plan a long trip in small segments, we will together identify ways that you can fit that big change into your current work and your current life by breaking the challenges down into manageable pieces, tiny steps, Yet when you stay consistently in momentum, well, you'll be amazed at the accumulative process that you make. Really, I wanna help you connect the dots about what you care about, create more powerful conversations, improve commitments that you make, drive better outcomes by challenging and changing your behavior. I wanna help you uncover your powerful presence and create a broader leadership skill set and reduce your stress level. When you start looking at what you truly want, we can expand and we can contract. By having someone hold you accountable to your greatness and what you want to do will allow you to create more ease and grace inside of your world and inside of your life. Start with the little things, then move to the big things so that you can eventually have the life that you want, the career that you want, the business that you want, the marriage that you want, the family that you want, the relationship what you want. Whatever you want is at your fingertips. I'm Susie Carter, and this is another Susie Snack, where I give you bite-sized information for your cocktail for success. And remember, you're not in business by yourself, you're in business for yourself, and I'm here to help you along the way.